Excel normally aligns text data on the left side of cells and numeric data on the right side. And I think with the numeric data, you want to shy away from making changes to that. But with text entries here and there, it might make sense to consider a different alignment approach. For example, in row three here, I think this looks just fine. Having these titles centered, and that's reflected in the alignment group on the Home tab where you see this button highlighted. We might want to align the data on the right side of the cells. I doubt in this case if you want to choose left alignment, but that's certainly a possibility as well. Column A looks just fine to me, might to you too, but we might want to align the data there in the right side of each cell, and we could simply do that with this button here. It also is going to make sense at times when we have titles like we see here in cell D1 to actually put the information higher up in the cell. Actually, the term we're talking about here is aligning not necessarily the data in the bottom part of the cell, but maybe in the middle, meaning top down middle or in the top. And so we have vertical alignment buttons as well as horizontal alignment buttons. Now, back in column A here, we can also possibly center these again. Recognize what's happening in cell A2. When a text entry is wider than the column, it will display into adjacent columns if there's no data there. I think in column A, the best approach might be is to deal with cell A2 separately. Maybe keep it left aligned and then consider other options here. From time to time, it might make sense too for certain wider entries to be displayed differently with what's called wrap text. And that feature too is found in the alignment group. For cell A7, it looks like it's a little bit crowded. I think an easier solution here might be to make the column wider, but let's explore wrap text just a little bit to see what happens there. And we have this look. Now, that does, of course, make the column taller, but here and there, that's an option you want to consider amongst the many different alignment choices that we have here. And when you're looking at titles like the one we have here in cell D1, this is actually in D1. It displays into the other cells rightward because there's nothing there. But this might look better if we center this information left-right. And we can do that as well as merging all these cells into a single cell with the button Merge and Center. And so now it's centered and cell D1 is extending across multiple cells. There is no E1, F1, G1, et cetera in this worksheet now. And you might again consider vertical alignment here, the middle align. And so that's a single cell. You could add color to it. You could change the font. You can make it bold and that sort of thing. But it's a different approach to putting in titles information and giving them greater emphasis. So quite a few choices here within the alignment group on the Home tab for various alignment features.